Metal Legends. Today we are going to be unboxing, building and reviewing the X-Rocker Alpha. So hello legends and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing, building, reviewing the X-Rocker Alpha gaming chair. It is like an office office chair um, with like wheels so you can drive it around sort of thing. Um, but yeah, we're going to unbox it, I'm going to build it, I'm going to talk about how hard is it to build and then I'm going to review how comfortable it is. Um, I needed to get an office chair because having to do lots of work from home with the current situation. So I thought, might as well get an X-Rocker one, so it's a bit exciting. Um, I've wanted an X-Rocker gaming chair for a while now, um, so I'm quite excited to get this open. It was £130. Let's see if it's worth it. So just quick, you can see there's a lot of bits to it. Um, this is probably going to take me longer to build than I thought. Um, I did flash it up on the thing. There's a code there which is XRCC10. That is to get you 10% off at customcontrollers.co.uk. Thought I'd share that in case any of you want to use it. Now let's build it. So the first step is just to put the wheels onto the base. Got a bit confused there because it said put C into D. Well... D is this plastic, and C is this. They were all ready to go in the box, so I didn't realise that had to go in there, and I was looking for something that I don't actually have. So the next thing you do is you drop the gas lift on, um, and then I'm just moving that out the way and getting the base flipped over. This is to stick the part of the gas lift that fits to the bottom of the chair, um, so you can connect the gas lift from the base with the wheels to the base of the chair. Now, once that is all screwed in nice and tight, you have to put your arms on. Um, be careful lining up the holes because it's tricky. Then you just pop on your cushions. Um, so popping on the cushions doesn't take long. And then what I'm doing now is I am putting the sides of the chair, literally screwing them into the base. And this is really fiddly and difficult to get them in the holes. Um, but you start with the right hand side because that's where the kind of like fixed lift is with the lever. And then you go to the left. So just to show you quick, this side of the chair, I'm really struggling to get these screws to actually line up. I feel like once you're in a few turns, it's going to be fine, but it's, it's because you've got lever at the front. And I'm, I'm worried about poking a hole in that lever at the front, if that makes sense to you guys at home. Line up the top first. Loosen that bottom one a bit. Um, it's just really tight to get this in, guys. So I finally got that done. All that's left to do now is just to bolt these little plastic covers into here, I believe. So when you do fit these little side panels, the bottom piece here, that just kind of clips in with your thumb. Um, but the top piece, goes in with a screw. Now it's quite difficult to do with the Allen key screwdriver that's included. Um, so what I'm using is a magnetic screwdriver just because it's easier to go along this. You gotta kind of go through this little hole and then start screwing it in. And it's just much easier to try and line that up like this as opposed to using the um, Allen key. And then this bit, this little snap lock. But once I snap that in, go back up the top and you can tighten it a bit more. You get a bit more sort of space to play with. Um, and then this here, here, just want to take it around there. And then there's a little bit of Velcro under the chair. Um, this should really be come around the size if possible. Um, there's a little bit of bits of work around the chair just to sh finish it up there. So here we have the completed chair. 
Look at that. Just to talk you through some of the stuff. On an end, so you've got lumbar support at the bottom of your back. Um, neck rest, which is adjustable at the top. Um, arm rest have different height settings. And then, as with all sort of office chairs, you do have a gas lift, so you can change your heights. Um, and then you have a little lever. It's the first time I've used the lever. So you can recline it all the way back to there for when it's been a bit stressful. Um, and then it just pops back up like that. Um, really comfortable chair. Um, just going to sort the lights out and then I'll review it properly. So you will notice a couple of changes. I've actually changed how the headrest is fit. Um, I've strapped it around this back bit here. On the picture it said you could go there or there. Because I'm quite tall, I'm going to go around there. Just gets the headrest and neck rest up for my neck a bit. Um, I've also put the lumbar support a bit up. So it goes into the arch of my back, which is why there's a little gap here now. Um, which has made it more comfortable. Um, I actually quite like it quite low. Um, I'm not going to be using it for office use. I'm going to use it for gamer mainly. Um, girlfriend will probably use it for office use quite a lot. Um, she's obviously going to go set up how it's comfortable for her. But I'm using it on the, the lowest height setting with the armrest up full. Neck rest there. Um, absolutely straight. I've got the back at the moment. I probably would adjust it during certain games. You know, when you have those long sessions, you want to lay down a little. Um, but the fact you've got that option of going all the way back to the 135, like, like I can't bend my arm that way. Um, the fact you've got the option to go back to there, um, that gives you new options, you know what I mean? Like for the, those long gaming sessions, you can be as comfortable as possible. Um, really good quality product. I love the adjustable lumbar support and the adjustable neck rest. Um, that for me is one of the biggest features of the product um it's faux leather so the whole thing is vegan um took me about 20 minutes to build as well just in case anyone's curious and the armrests do turn so you can have them more out i obviously like them straight um that's obviously the more traditional way to use them um but yeah 20 minutes build time i did it on my own um a lot of people online suggest a two-man build um but for me i did it on my own um, i did use the sofa sometimes to lean stuff um the bit that is tricky is lining up stuff um, lining stuff up can be awkward on your own because you've got a hold and screw. If you had a second person to hold stuff perfectly over the screw holes while they screw it in, that will make it quicker. Probably get it down to like 10, 15 minutes build time. Um, but the comfort is incredible. It's worth the 20 minutes to build it. Um, and as well, guys, it's £130. Compared to some gaming chairs, that is quite cheap. Um, but like I say, for you, you've got to work out, is it worth for you £130? for the chair. Um, extra I could do some more high-end ones. Um, I only wanted something kind of like for a temporary, not temporary, but I didn't want, didn't really want to spend too much money on a chair that I'm not gonna sit in that much. Um, but if you sit in it more, it might be worth looking at the higher end stuff. But for 130 pound, I am very, very happy with this chair. Um, as always on the channel, we rate everything out of 10. I am gonna give the X Rocker Alpha an 8 out of 10. Now the reason it isn't 10s, this could be fussy, um, the arms are a little bit easy to move. So like that is a little bit, there's a little bit of play there because I think it's meant to be adjustable in and out like that um, to suit people with different sizes and different fittings and stuff. Arms, a little bit noisy as well. The rest of the chair, even with me on it and I'm heavy, is very quiet. Um, mind you the reclining, there's a big click there. Um, probably better recline it when you're not sounding as well, guys, just to make it last longer. But um, 8 out of 10, yeah, it's just a couple of bits of it a little bit clicky, um, and it doesn't have built-in audio. I know a lot of the office-type ones don't, but some of the office chairs that are like this are starting to get built-in speakers in the head for that sort of like surround sound gaming experience. But for me... Um, for £130, though, you cannot go wrong. It is worth your money. Thank you for watching today. Uh, if you want to see more sort of gaming-themed videos, I have reviewed lots of sneak gaming drinks. Um, and as well, we're talking about gaming. Um, I'm coming back to Twitch. Well, back to Twitch. I'm going to come to Twitch for the first time. It is twitch.tv slash linkgooding. It's going to be my first ever gaming streams 
in the next few weeks while all this crazy stuff is happening in the world. So make sure you subscribe to the Twitch channel, or well, following the Twitch channel. Um, and I will see you all there for some, some games, I guess. Um, and maybe we'll sit in my chair. Probably won't, probably be in the armchair still, but we'll see. Thank you for watching. Check out my sneaker reviews if you like gaming, because that is the best gaming energy drink I've tried. And I will see you all real soon. That failed. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.